part two of the decoupage of your flower pot. Um, you can see that my pot is still a little bit wet, but that's okay as long as it's mostly dry. Some people prefer to let it dry all the way because they're afraid of tearing the napkin. I've done this a few times both ways, and um, just for the sake of doing this video, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So I'm going to hold my pot and I'm just going to get a little bit of Mod Podge on my brush at a time and I'm going to apply it gently across the paper napkins going all the way around my pot. I'm going to be careful because I don't want to tear it. I also don't want to put too much on there, um, but I do want to cover the whole surface because that will protect the napkin and it will give it sort of a... A really cool look when it's done. We're also going to just take the edges here and we're going to fold them over and Mod Podge them down. I'll put a little bit of Mod Podge underneath first and I left this tag on actually for a reason. There's a hole in the bottom so when I put my grass in here I don't want it to go through the hole so I just left that on the bottom. You could put tape there as well. All right so let's get some Mod Podge. And we're just gonna go gently across. I mean, you can see I'm putting a pretty good amount, but I'm not glopping it on there. And I'm just gonna keep doing this all the way around. See? And it looks kind of funny right now, but it looks really good when it dries. It will actually kind of make the napkin look a little translucent like you might be able to see a little bit of the or transparent rather you'll be able to see a little bit of the uh, flower pot through the napkin it gives a kind of a unique look some people may not like this another option would be to paint your flower pot you could paint the bottom one color paint the rim another color or you could even use some washi tape. It fits perfectly around the rim. I've done that with some of my other pots. I'll post a picture of those on the blog as well. You could, if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette, you could cut designs out with, on, with vinyl on your machine. You could paint your pot and then you could put wording on there, Happy Easter, put your bunny inside. That would be cute. You could also, um, if you have like little rocks, little stones, little gems, you could glue those all over your pot. You could even take yarn or um, twine and glue that all the way around your pot for a different look. Maybe tie some ribbon around it or make a bow. There's so many options. Okay, so I've made it all the way around. That'll probably take a couple hours to dry fully, but I will get a picture of it on there. So I'm putting some of the Mod Podge here so that as I push this down, it will stick. And you won't even see this because it's gonna be sitting on top of it. Um, so it really doesn't matter how it looks, as long as it sticks down. The thing I found about crafting is you want it to be fun. You know, if you're stressed about it and you're trying to make it perfect, you're not gonna have fun. I've learned that the hard way. Sometimes when that's happened with me, I just have to put the project down and come back to it at another time. There we go, all done. And I'm just gonna let it sit on its rim to dry for a couple hours.